This is Jason Lukey, Global Solutions Specialist with Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And today we're going to talk about how we complete assignments that our teachers have sent out to us. So the first thing we need to know is where to find those assignments. And so to do that, I can look right down here at the bottom. You know, I have these two tabs, the Explore and then the Assignments tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Assignments tab. That's where I'll find a list of all of my assignments. And as I look through here, you can see I have quite a few assignments on this list. Okay, and so there's some more information that you need here. First of all, this first column is going to give me my due dates. Okay, and I can rearrange how this is organized by clicking this arrow here, okay? And so if I click it a couple of different times, it'll bring up those assignments that are due relatively soon to the very top. Then over here in the status row or status column, I can see ones that I've finished and ones that I haven't started yet. And then over here in the score column, of course, I can see the score that I receive after I've completed an assignment and my teacher has given me a grade. So let's look at this, check your understanding that's due tomorrow and I haven't started it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and all of these are linked. It'll take me directly to the assignment. It also shows me in the table of contents where that assignment is located. Okay, scratch that. I needed to clear that out. It'll also show me in the table of contents where that assignment is located. So over here in my content screen, this is where I can complete my assignment. I always wanna make sure that I check first to see if I have any direction. So up here in the second level of toolbars, I can see I have an I, that's my directions. If that is colored blue, then I know I need to click on that and here I can see that my teacher wants me to complete this by Friday. Okay, so let's go ahead. And as I go through this assignment and I click on each one of the answers, so in this case, I'll click, let's check A. This is intended to be a formative assessment and I know that because I have this check button down here. So if I click on check, it's gonna tell me in this case, that's not the correct answer. So then I'll have to try again and then I can try to pick a different answer. So let's try C and see if that's the correct answer. So you can see here, I really am checking my understanding. I wanna make sure that I know and I understand the different parts of the story. I got that one right. As you can see, I have multiple, uh, multiple, an multiple questions here. I've already answered this one. As I move on to number three, let's try this. And now try here, looks like that's the right answer. When I finished, I can go up here and I can check the complete button that sends it to my teacher. It lets my teacher know that I'm finished. You'll also see that you have the option to tell your teacher how you're feeling about that assignment. So you can use the emoji button to sort of flag your teacher and, and let them know if you thought it was easy or maybe it was something that you were a little bit um, confused about that's gonna send that emoji out to your teacher and, and give them that information as well. This has been How to Complete an Assignment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.